back in the regular setting so y'all can make fun of the sign back there. I came across this really interesting article, The World is a Cock Block. And it was really dealing with the dating rim, how sometimes there's this guy, he doesn't know, he has these invisible forces named girlfriends and parents, whatever, that are preventing him from getting where he wants to go with this woman. Sometimes he's done before he starts. And I read that article and I was like, pretty much on point. But it got me to thinking about something larger. How the world is caught blocking your dreams. I want you to think about it. I have a lot of members of the Hustle Mindset and other clients. And one of the large, large sentiment is my parents, my girlfriend, my wife, my husband. They look at me like I'm strange because I'm getting in this resale business. They're like, what is that? Get a real job. And the problem is, and I look back in my life, there's cock blockers everywhere. Just like the agents from the freaking Matrix. That person that's in your corner, then all of a sudden, zzz, next thing you know, there's a Glock to your head. And they're saying, no, don't do it. Don't leave the Matrix. And they got me to thinking, why is it like that? Because one of the best ways to least chaos and all kind of hornet's nest in your life is to have a dream and to start chasing it. You'll find out who your friends are. You'll find out who you are. All kinds of stuff happens. So understand, this is the grand order of things. This is how it should be. Yes, the cock blocking is part of the grand design because this is what happens. You're on that path. Before you know it, you're getting ready to enter. You're getting ready to make that move. Then all of a sudden, click. One of the agents, they have a gun to your head. And they say things like, I don't know about that. Are you really sure? Well, the last thing you tried, you didn't, didn't work out so well. And then what's worse is when you have people who are in your corner, but things aren't going well. Because when you're an entrepreneur, a writer, an artist, a phenomenal amount of work frequently accompanies success. And usually it's on the front end. It's not in the middle, it's usually right there on the front end. That's how you get the guy who worked for 10 years and then he gets that hit album or that hit book, then all of a sudden he's an overnight success. You know, like those 10 years don't matter when it was those 10 years that actually made that person. So you, ha you have all these agents of cock blockers they're in the corner. They ain't even in the grocery store. And sometimes the worst cock blocker is you. You're at home. It's just you. You're in your dreams, right? You're just chilling. You're thinking about it. And you think about what could be versus what is. And you get scared. You get scared. You start to think what if I become successful? My life is going to change. I'm not ready for that. Because one of the things that made me change my message with dealing with people is I have come across a great number of really smart people, passionate people. It's, it's really the difference between failure and success may be a 5% nuance in mentality. But you may have to put 95% of your effort to turn that 5% nuance. Because the self-talk, the doubt, it's already inherently in you because of the society we live in. Then you add those agents that are chasing your ass down the alley, trying to keep you from your dreams. It's even worse. So the question is, are you being cock blocked by life? Are you a complicit conspirator with the plan because think, think about it because this is it this is it this is it you you finally gather the courage to chase your dream and you've got your stuff going you're writing down your goals you're moving forward you're moving forward then you mess up and you tell somebody and then they become <laughs> they become an agent and click click here it comes one of the things I found out is you should not tell your dreams to people. Initially, you shouldn't. What you should do is work on your goals, 
until they get a little shape, they get a little strength, they get a little, they get a body, they, some form, you know, the teeth come in, there's some muscle, there's some tendons. I mean, it's very hard to bitch slap a dream that has substance, but when your dream is brand new and grasping for air, and you tell someone one wrong look, one errant word can euthanize your dream. Just like that. Because you are steadily trying to build up energy. You're steadily trying to get that thing going. And it doesn't take much to knock you off the track. That's why I recommend you write your goals down. And you start working on them in some capacity. And wait a week or two or even longer before you tell anybody. Get your goals solid and shaped up. You know, get it in the gym. You know, get it, make sure it's working out. Get some muscles on your goal head and shoulders on it so it's it can withstand all of the stuff that's going to come because understand the world is a cock blocker people are going to become agents that's going to resist your change because see this is the thing when you have the audacity to say i don't like myself the way that i am i don't like my current situation i don't like my current circumstances and I'm going to change. For the people who do like those situations, who are happy where they are, you're a threat to their peace of mind. Because what's going to happen, and it's, it's weird, because in the, and like I said, in the beginning when you're chasing that dream, the agents are just descending on you. I mean, they're like, boom, 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 boom. every time you turn around, it's like, psh, psh, something's happening. It's like you woke up the devil himself. Then one day you make a decision. You refuse to bow down. You will not acquiesce to the agents. That gun to your head, you're like, I don't care. You're going to keep going. You're going to keep going. You're going to keep doing your thing. And then you're going to look around the room, and the agent and the gun is gone. Because you've claimed some power. And then people have no choice but to respect you because you withstood the storm. The storm could be a week. It could be a month. Or for some people, it could be decades. Everyone's journey is different. That's one of the things that I get. It's like, hey, how can I get from point A to point B in six months? I don't know. Because I don't know you. I don't know what your journey is. I don't know what your walk is. I don't know what your strengths are. I don't know what your weaknesses are. I could just take an educated guess. After I see some stuff, I'm pretty good. But when you're just like, hey, you know, because there are no cookie cutter recipes for life. You have to go in the field, chop down that wheat, grind it up and make your own bread and everyone is trying to get away from making their own bread sure you can get a cleaner recipe by looking at what others have done before you but at some point it's just going to be you the oven the ingredients and your recipe and you can't get around it there's not going to be anyone to hold your hand. There's not going to be anyone to say, hey, don't go this way, don't go that way. Because you're going to have to push forward on your own. And that's why I believe these agents that pop out, that start trying to cock block, the, the aunt, the wife, the husband, all these people that's like, mm, I don't know. And you got to think about something. If you have a dream, and if someone can just do this, mm, I don't know, and that shakes your world, you're not strong enough to realize your dream. Until you get past that, because I'm going to tell you, as an entrepreneur, as someone that's done a lot of crazy stuff, when you start moving forward, just expect madness. Expect craziness. Expect the most unusual things that can happen to you to happen. Just get ready for it, because it's going to come. And it's a test, because it's real easy to raise your paw, I want this dream. It's another thing to put on the suit, the tie, the shoes, make sure you got that, that watch on and meet that dream at the designated appointment. It's hard showing up every day. It's easy to dream. It's hard to take action. And then when you take action, that's commencement. You got the dream, you're taking action, Next thing is the big C word. There's actually two. Consistency and commitment. 
no matter what happens, you're going to hold on to that dream as the winds are rocking your world. As people come in and out of your life, you're going to hold on to the dream. Because the thing is, it's going to change on you. All of that wind, all of that madness, people who used to hate you, and they still may hate you in the bottom of their black little hearts, but they will respect you. They may not tell you. They may not even tell anybody, but they're going to have to look at you and go, damn, I was wrong. So if you want that dream, and understand, I believe you can have anything you want in the world if you're willing to pay the price. The price could be your sanity. <laughs> the price could be your firstborn. Some of these prices are very heavy, and they will be paid in advance. You will not get the dream then pay on the back end. There is no credit plan for the dream. There's no layaway for the dream. You will pay in full before you get it. And that's what trips people up because we're used to it's done. The microwave, it's all set up. That's not like it with a dream because see, this is the thing with the dream. As you go forward, the dream metamorphosizes. So you can't get something ready made because as you grow, as you seek things out, as you do stuff, it shapes and changes for you because it's your dream. It's custom made. It's a one of a kind type deal. And if you got the courage and the heart and you don't mind some cock blockers, because they're coming. They're going to be around there. They're coming. If you don't mind that, if you firmly fix your brain to the point that I'm here and I'm going there and I'm going to take this step and this step and this step and you don't stop. Slow progress is better than no progress. I tell people frequently, if you stick with the resale business a good solid two years, you're going to see some amazing stuff. Most people are addicted to storage wars, pawn stars, whatever these shows where people do this stuff and they make these really nice sums of money just like that. Doesn't happen in real life. You got to learn. You know, if you make 300 bucks this month, then this time next year, January, well, February 2014, and you're making $1,000 a month, that's progress. It's not run down the street and impress everybody progress, but it's hard one, extremely impressive progress because you became better over a period of time. And you do 1000 then next year, you're at 2000 That's two years of growth, $24,000. That's a lot of people who are going to get up in their car, get up in the morning, it's going to be cold. And they're going to go to a part-time job or a full-time job, and they're going to work 8 to 10 hours, and they're not going to make anything close to what you're making part-time. Not even close. So, in closing, understand, the world is a, is a cock blocker. And that's the grand order of things, because it's to shape you, to steal you, to make you strong, so you can actually deserve that dream. You're actually earning the dream. It's not a promise. It's not an entitlement. It's a privilege. And if you've got the guts, the glory, and the gall to go for it, it'll be yours.